Hi everybody, Shane here at the Brick House, back again with another quick video. Today I'm going to be reviewing set 42138. This is a 544 piece Technic set. Now this set just came out. This vehicle is a rendition of a Ford Mustang Shelby Cobra GT500. And I must say that from a design standpoint, it is probably the best looking small Technic I've seen in a long time. As you can see from a design standpoint, from the back of the vehicle, to the side of the vehicle, and even the front of the vehicle, it is unmistakably a Ford Shelby Cobra. It is the best looking small Technic set I've seen in a while. I think it's much better than the Sienna and much better than the Corvette. One of the reasons why it looks so good from a design standpoint for a Technic is these doors are two solid pieces rather than a lot of small Technic pieces. The fender and wheel wells are also solid pieces and the roof is in three large solid pieces. So these large pieces of the shell of the vehicle give it a really nice look and shape, um, and I just think they did a fantastic job. Now all of the front markings, the white fastback stripes, the white stripes along here, and even the rear tail lights are all stickers. This set costs $50 retail, so it's expected that it won't have too many printed pieces, but the stickers actually make the vehicle look really fantastic. On a scale of one to 10, I give the vehicle probably a nine, nine and a half. It is by far the best looking Technic set I've seen in a long time at this scale. And even the wheels look really fantastic. Now from a Technic standpoint, there aren't the typical Technic features that you would see. As you know, this set is made for nine-year-olds, and so there aren't a lot of really technical pieces. For example, there is no suspension, which is typical in a Technic vehicle. There is a steering wheel, but there is no steering. The front wheels are only go straight because it's a pullback vehicle. The engine compartment is the only feature that does open up. Usually Technic engines have the pistons working. Not only does it not have the pistons working, but there actually isn't even an engine in the vehicle. Um, it is really kind of bare bones as far as Technic features go. And as you can see, it's really just the Technic pins and pieces that are put together to form this vehicle. It's really kind of an elementary um, technical vehicle. It is fairly straightforward to put together. I think the most important thing to remember when you're putting it together is that you have to make sure you put the right pins in the right place and there are some unique design elements where you're constantly kind of building one half of the model and then slowly sticking the other half together. So you'll build this section of this of the vehicle and then later on you'll kind of piece the vehicle together. Um, overall I think it is a great looking model. As I said it's not very technic but its number one feature is that it's a pull back and go vehicle. And so it comes with this kind of brake release and so if you take this one piece off you see there's a place in here where these two pieces are where you can stick this in, you pull the vehicle back and then you launch it and the vehicle takes off. You can actually release the vehicle without this and so I actually prefer it to have the look and feel of the Mustang and have the vehicle take off on its own rather than have the release brake. Overall, it took me probably you know less than an hour to build, so I think it would take a nine-year-old probably about the same time. It is a super fun looking vehicle, and in my opinion, it's worth the $50. The thing I was surprised about this vehicle is usually when you get something with a motor in it, you only get one motor. This vehicle actually has two motors, one on either side of the back wheel, and I think that gives it more speed and more power, um, which I thought was really great. So the, t the dual motor really adds to its kind of speed, although it's not that fast a vehicle. Overall, I think a kid would have a lot of fun with this. As I said, I think it looks fantastic. It's the best looking little Technic I've ever seen. I like this set so much then I'm going to give two of them away to some of my lucky fans. To be eligible to win one of these sets, you have to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on this video. And for the other one, I'm giving away as a call out to one of my loyal fans. So as we move on, I want to reward my loyal fans who are always watching my videos and really supporting the channel. And so the second one of these I'm giving away to Daniel B23. So Daniel B23, if you're watching this video, you have 48 hours to get in touch with me and then I will give you one of these set. The other one will be given away to another lucky subscriber who leaves a comment on the video. 
Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.